Handlebar failure. Reinstall the three screws at the foldable stand. Unscrew the top screws with a 4mm inner hexagonal spanner. Screw down the notch on the ring of the foldable stand with a 10mm open end spanner. Pair the long nuts with the locker below with an 8mm open end spanner. Fix the top screws. Brake failure, strange noise, and resistance in the rear wheel. Stock the rear cap in order to adjust the brake after the stand is folded. Make sure the rear wheel is rotatable. Reinstall the brake with a 4mm inner hexagonal spanner. Make sure the distance between the brake and the tire is as close as possible but without any contact. Loosen the top screws inside the brake with a 2mm inner hexagonal spanner. Adjust the screws on the right side of the brake with a 5mm inner hexagonal spanner until the distance between the brake and the tire is as close as possible but without any contact. Then tighten the top screws with a 2mm inner hexagonal spanner. Similarly, loosen the screws on the left side of the brake with a 4mm inner hexagonal spanner. Hold it by your hands and adjust it to a proper position, then tighten it up. Also, make sure the distance between the brake and the tire is as close as possible but without any contact. The distance is about 2mm. After adjusting, the rear wheel should produce no strange noise while rotating and you cannot rotate it after braking.